Game Hunter here, and welcome to another unboxing video. Where today we are going to be unboxing Persona 5 on the PlayStation 4. Now, I'm actually kind of new to the Persona series. Um, ever since that um, random chick at um, GameStop, who was also waiting in line for a certain game, I don't recall what game we were waiting for, but uh, I know that she, she had a PS. P Vita on her PlayStation Vita and uh, I asked her what she's playing and she said Persona 3 now I asked her do you recommend Persona and she said yes so I went inside the GameStop store and found Persona 4 Golden for the PlayStation Vita and ever since I played that game I've been hooked to the series now, I haven't really played through that many Persona games so far, such Persona 4 Golden on the Vita and, um, and a little bit of Persona 2 Instant Sin on the PSP. Now, I just recently got Persona 1 and Persona 2 for the PS1, and uh, at some point, I have to play those games too. But um, today, I'm just celebrating that um, Persona 5 just came out. And that's it. Let's go and unbox this thing, shall we? <laughs> Gosh, that's. I would say this. I was not expecting this box being so long. I thought the box was actually going to be be a bit more thicker. All right. Hmm. I'm sure. I'm sure the persona is going to continue its theme, the theme of kids being on high school and on the misadventures. All right, so let's look at the box oh, again. That's a really nice box, and it, it already shows us what's going to be in the box down below. Looks like some kind of duffel bag, a metal case. That's always cool. That looks like a music CD, and that's one of the main reasons why I still get um, special editions of video games. Just for the music CD, because I love music especially from video games um, and don't I don't know what that's supposed to be but it looks like an art book right there so that said I guess let's go and see what's inside both to Eli is mature mature 17 first blood drug reference ooh partiality yeah that's always a good thing Sexual themes, strong language, fuck, that's strong language, and violence. Of course it's violence, it's an RPG. I, I can't really think of an RPG that has no violence. Alright, alright. So I guess um, what that little box was on the box was this thing. Looks really cool if I ever decided to set up um, this game on my shelf like this. <laughs> All right. Oh, it does a little door handle right here. Let's go. And, oh, that was really simple. And the that artwork looks a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be a bit smaller. Wow. Persona 5 artwork aesthetics. Ooh. So, oh, this must be the original sketches. This is this is cool. And to knock Takamaki. Anna Takamaki. Okay. She doesn't look too bad. She doesn't look too bad. Oh, you don't look too bad yourself either. Was it Sanajima? Sanajima. Hmm. As usual, I love. Oh, so that. I'm guessing that's the. Um, and uh, our anthropomorphic character of the game. I know Persona 4 we got Teddy. Wow, I can't believe I almost forgot his name, but his name is so simple to remember. So I'm guessing he's like the Teddy um, character of the game, so. And it looks like, what's that, a Catmobile? Huh. I wonder if Catwoman has a Catmobile. Oh, he looks so fine in that suit. Oh, you cute little kitty. I want to pet you so bad. Oh, that's actually pretty neat. Oh, look, there's that little kitty. A little, a little plushie of kitty. Kitty, 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 kitty. Oh, yes. Oh. Warning. 
This product is designed for age 17 and up. Do not bleach. Pull, pulling may cause smaller parts to become permanently detached. Oh, okay. Basically, basically saying, uh, be careful. Oh, you're such a nice kitty. I'm gonna pet you. I'm gonna pet your little kitty, whoever your name is. <laughs> uh, you was probably sitting nice here with Kilala. Now, you better behave. Kilala could be pretty bitchy at times. <laughs> uh, all right, and here is um, the game. Persona 5, I think, is from Atlas. Ooh, I think Atlas makes this game. Or are they, are they a publisher? Who knows? Nice steel cage. Pretty nice going. All right. And voila. We got like a warning label right there. Nothing too special. But no manual. But here's the game in the case. <laughs> I was about to say, here's the game that's inside the case. Of course, you gotta have that. Um, but let's look at the, the complete inside case. Let's see the complete artwork inside the case. Mm, doesn't look too bad. Hmm. Pretty neat. All those characters inside there. Oh, well, before I close it, let's put the game back inside. Yes, let's, let's, do, let's do that. I'm having trouble picking up the case. Oh, no one that I had to, dang it. The, pla the plastic bag got tape on it, but that's okay. It's, the game should be fine. I hope it doesn't ruin this collector valuable value. And here is a music CD, which I hate these sleeves. I really do. I'm always worried that the, the disc might be scratching up while it's inside here. Not really too fond of the sleeves, but whatever, you still got your old guy there. Yes, sir. <laughs> hmm. Let's see what the CD looks. Um, there we go. All right, so let's see what the CD looks like. Okay. I don't, I, again, like I said, I don't like sleeve CDs. All right, and no, it's basically the front cover of the sleeve. N nothing really too special there, but whatever. <sighs> I'm wondering if I can find a CD case. I can just slip this through a CD case and put this in a CD holder. Gosh, I, you don't know how much I hate sleeves. I'm always afraid that the CD might be scratching up inside. All right, and that's the warning label. And here is the duffel bag. Warning to avoid danger of suffocation. Keep this plastic bag away from babies and children. Do not use this bag in cribs, beds, carriages, or playpens. This bag is not a toy. Don't tell me what to do. I'm gonna treat it like a toy. Oh, my head's too big. Can't put that on. Oh well. Can't. Stupid bag. You never. Stupid company. You ever thought of I want to put a bag on my head one of these days? And here we go. That little duffel bag. Um. It's such a. Looks like such a regular bag. They didn't really really go out with the design. Oh, but I do like the uh, squares inside of here. I don't know if you guys can see that. If not, let me try to do it the front camera. Can you see all, can you see those squares in there? There we go. I, I think that's a pretty neat design. Um, lo looks like they use cheap material, so whatever. Well, at least it has like the school logo right there. Um, Shujin Academy, I'm guessing. All right. And that is everything that's inside of the box. Well, to give you my official statement, I think about it, think of this um, special edition is that, um. Well, I do like the art bird, but I think the duffel bags is kind of like unnecessary. They basically just toss in a cheap bag um, with the school logo right there. Um, they, a 
sleeve music CD. I don't like that. But overall, I think this um, I think this special edition is actually okay. The only, th the only thing I don't like, is, is, of course, is the CD sleeves. But hell, we got music CD that's like like I said like earlier in this video. I basically just buy special edition pretty much for the music CDs now. And then the artwork is nice, and we do have a nice um, metal case of Persona 5. So yeah, I would say it's this is actually a pretty average special edition. Um, luckily, I did not pay all that much like you usually do for special editions. Usually special editions, what, like a hundred bucks for stuff like this? But I think I only paid like 70, uh, 70 something from Amazon. I'm also an Amazon Prime member. And wherever I buy from Amazon, I usually get a discount on newer games. So, again, yeah, this, this is pretty average unboxing. Nothing really too special about the special edition. But I forgot to mention, I do like the box. I do, do like the box carrier. <laughs> okay. So, that said, thank you very much for joining me on this unboxing video. This is the Video Game Hunter. And until next time, goodbye.